you are a guest of honor at the Pratham's annual gala here in the mm -hmm. Bay Area tonight. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your involvement with Pratham. How did you come across Pratham and what impressed you most about the organization? Well, my uh, association with Pratham has been very recent and it's still at a nascent stage. With every event that I'm doing for Pratham, I am getting more insight into the organization. So I was very much in, uh, impressed by the, the scale of, um, of work that they have achieved in, in a short span of time. A slum dog millionaire brought the entire world's attention to the abject poverty and dismal conditions in the slums of Mumbai. How is an organization like Pratham making a difference there? How are they transforming the lives of underprivileged children like Latika and Jamal that we saw in the movie? Well, of course, there are more than many Latika and Jamals out there in the slums of India. Sure. And uh, for, for people like you and me, sending children to school or going to school is a way of life. But for many parents, they cannot afford that dream. Right. And I think that's when Pratham uh, comes and comes and fulfills the dreams of so many children. He's actually working on the ground in the slums of Mumbai, I think. Very, very uh, intricately. And, and they have already spread their wings all across India in a very short span, which was so impressive. A young Bollywood star uh, promoting a cause. Mm -hmm. What kind of a message would you like to give to the younger generation of uh, Indo-Americans here? Well, since I am promoting a cause of education for the underprivileged in India uh, through Pratham, I would like to tell youngsters in the Bay Area to go and, I think, go to Pratham, go to their website, just get inspired by the work that they have done. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, if just, you know, it's open their wallets to the cause because we youngsters are leading a good standard of life ourselves and we um, are young earning members and we don't think twice about spending. We go to the best of hotels and uh, sometimes, uh, you know, we don't think twice about spending those $10 on a glass of juice or a, on, on a can of beer. But that, that $10 can actually um, fill for so many lives in India. Hundred dollars can provide a years of education for four children. And that, the, we, we, we don't even think twice about losing those hundred dollars, but for them, it's a dream come true. So just go out there and do that good work and you'll feel so much good about yourself. Mm -hmm. Very well said, Amrita. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much.